Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be talking about GFI receptacles. Alright guys, so like I said in the beginning, today we're going to talk about GFI receptacles. Now, there are a few things about GFIs that we need to talk about before we even get started. What are they and why are they helpful and useful and what do they do? Okay, so first of all, GFI is there to protect you from getting shocked um, from water or anything outside in the garage, for instance. Um, anywhere where there's a possibility of water at any given time, okay? Uh, you know, we can go on and on and on about what a GFI, how many milliamps it take to kill you, so on and so forth. But, you know, you're, the, you're probably here just to see how to hook us up. I'm going to go ahead and get right on into the nitty gritty. Now, before we start really showing you, I'm going to tell you there's several things you need to learn about the GFI first, seriously. All right, so this one is a 20 amp GFI. Um, what makes it a 20 amp is this slot right here, okay? Now, why would you want a 20 amp? Uh, you know, you might have something that requires it. Now, I have yet to see anything in my home or any home I've ever been in that has that plug on it yet. I ain't saying that there's not. I'm saying that I have never seen it. And I've been electricians, you know, for a, quite a while, you know. I mean, I've been doing it since right at 96. So, uh, you know, anyway. And, you know, I have not seen any plug in a home yet. But, so the 15 amp, what, now this is not a GFI, obviously. This is a regular receptacle. But you see the difference? So, you see the slot right here? This one is a 15 amp, and it's just, you know, hot neutral ground. This one's, you know, it's got the little slot on Okay, so that's how you can always tell if it's 20 amp or not. All right? Is when you get a receptacle, a brand new one, there should always be a piece of tape around here, okay? Now what that tells you is, this is where you hook it up, okay? Now, if you look on the back, it also says, let's see if I can get focused here, line, let's see if I can get it, line, and that one up top says load, line and load, and you see there's no tape on the line, right? So. What does that mean? Okay, so this is an easy way to remember. I always remember it anyway. Uh, when somebody feeds you a line of bullcrap, they're bringing you, whether it be, you know, uh, some false information or whatever, they're bringing you something. So that is where you want to put the power at because the power is bringing the power to the receptacle. So, or another way you can look at it is a uh, line. You feed yourself with a line of food. And then the load means you take out. Now, we'll get into the load in a minute. So, uh, but you, line, that's the easiest to remember, okay? So line brings, I'm bringing you a line of crap. So I'm telling you something. So I'm bringing you the information. Well, the power is coming through the wire. So that is the line bringing to the plugs. So always remember that, okay? That's pretty cut and dry. Now, we can go on about the load. But I am going to save that for another video, okay? So we're just going to look at, you know, just hooking this up by itself, okay? So if the tape was missing, okay, we're going to take it off because sometimes it does miss. I mean, sometimes people go to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you go, they buy these and they're like, oh, I don't need it. And then they already took us off because they don't know where they're hooking it up at. And then you get it and you're like, um, okay. So that's when you got to look at the back, okay? Also on the back, it has a strip gauge. Now, if you remember from any of my other videos, electrical, okay, I mentioned that I never like to stab any receptacle in the back. And you see, there's holes all over the back of this thing, okay? This is the only, literally, the only receptacle of its kind that I would literally stick in the back. Now, I don't always stick in the back, even on these. But I don't mind sticking these in the back because there is a plate. And I, you, I can try to show you, but you're not going to be able to see it. There's a plate in there. And there's a screw, and it's flat. And it, it, when that screw tightens up, that plate is flat, and it clamps on the wire. And they are extremely tight. Plus, when you're pushing back in the box, there's a lot of pressure holding the wire in there. So, you know, I don't mind stabbing these in the back. Now, I'm going to stab these in the back for this video purpose, okay? But like I said before, this is literally the only receptacle I will do that to. A lot of the times I still wrap around the screw, but these are a little harder to wrap around the screw. So let's go ahead and jump on in here. I'll show you how to hook it up. So the tools you're gonna need for this little project, you don't need a pair of clients, but I always have a pair of clients with me. 
Okay? You only need a pair of strippers and a regular screwdriver. Alright? Now, I think I mentioned before, I don't particularly like to run um, screws in with a drill, especially on plastic boxes. Now, unless it's already had a couple receptacles in or switches, because these tend to be tight. We're met now, if it was metal here, I just go ahead and zip it in. But me personally, I just would not do that. Okay. Now, anyway, so let's go ahead and start. All right. So when you get to your box, you always want to make sure that your power's off. Right. Well, we know it's off because I don't have to show you. I've shown you enough. If you watch any of my other electrical videos, but so you'll have your black, your white, and your bare copper. What you'll do is you'll strip it out. All right. Now you can go to the strip gauge. Now I've done this enough to know already how much it needs to be stripped out, but I'm going to zoom in here so you won't see my face again so you can see exactly how I'm going to hook this up, okay? Now, how do we start, right? Always the same way. Ground, neutral, hot. Every single time. Ground is green. Neutral is your white. Now, if you're like, um, if you, if you, for some reason, you don't have any idea, like I said, there's a lot of writing on the back here, as you can see. So, it says white, and it says black. Of course, the green is, is what it is, ground. But if, if you don't know, all you have to do is flip it over, and the bigger of the two prongs is always your neutral. Plus, it always has the 20 amp part of it on, on it, too. So, we'll go ahead and we'll start. We'll go ahead. Now, on the ground, you should always bend you a little loop that loop. You'll go ahead and put this on. Put it under the green ground screw. All right, just like so. And we'll tighten it up. Alright, now, ground neutral hot, correct? So, we'll go ahead and we'll strip it out. And we'll strip the black, which is the hot. Alright. And then, if the screw is out a little bit, you won't be able to get, and, well, you will, but you have to fight it. So, all you need to do is push the little ground in, or little screw in, and then push it in like that, okay? You want to hold your wire in the screw with a little bit of force and just tighten it up. Okay? And you can pull all day long and it's not coming out. Alright? Now we'll flip it around and we'll do the hot. Push it right on in. We'll hold the wire. Like so, a little screw to it. Alright, just like so. Now, you'll just push the wire back in, and you can easily flip your screwdriver around. I like to, actually, for these, you can use, if you have a screwdriver, for instance, this is a heavy duty, heavy duty Klein screwdriver, uh, 10 in 1. It has a square tip on it. A lot of the, uh, a lot of screwdrivers actually, Milwaukee and Klein, they have a square tip. It makes it a little easier. You don't really have to. You see, I was telling you about how this box is already screwed in, so I can barely. I mean, I'm barely just pushing it. But a lot of them have the square tip. It makes it a lot easier. All right, there you have it. Let's plug it in, and we'll see if the light comes on and see what happens. Okay. Alright, so the minute that you turn your breaker back on or plug it in like I had to do, because this is just a fake wall, obviously, uh, it should go ahead and trip itself out. Now, I hope you can see this little red light. Let's see if I can zoom in here to it. Yeah. Okay. Let me go on this side. Yeah. Alright, so see that little red light? That means it is tripped. Now, I will say this, okay? Some GFIs I've seen, where the light stays on when the GFI is ready to go. Now, obviously, this one is tripped. Because the reset button is actually pushed out, okay? So, as you see, so this right here is called a circuit tester, okay? It, it tells you, you know, if you look at all these different lights, these little circles, it tells you when certain lights uh, light up, um, what the problem is, okay? Uh, I'm not, for this video, I'm just not going to tell you anything else about it, except I'm just going to show you how this one works. Now, this has a button on it that trips that GFI out. Yeah, so this one right here will trip. You push the button, bam, it'll trip that GFI. So we'll go ahead and show you, okay? All right, so I'm plugging in like I just did a second ago, and there's no lights on, correct? Because that means that the circuit here is dead. So you reset it. 
the lights come on. Now, it has two lights on this one. Always make sure, just because I'm telling you about this one doesn't mean the one that you have is exactly the same, and these lights may not mean the same thing it might mean. Now, I'm not sure. This is the only one that I literally have ever had in all of my career. So, you know, I know that these two lights, if you look, if you look, two lights right here on the very bottom. The two lights are lit up, okay? Means it's correct. So, we'll put it in here, and we'll make sure, okay? Bam, you push the button, it tripped out. So you know it's good. Now there are a lot of different problems with the GFI that you could have, you know. Now this video was just only to show you how to hook it up. I'm not going to go into any great detail of, you know, if, if it doesn't trip or whatever. So guys, that's it. That's in a nutshell. Uh, I hope that was beneficial. I hope that you learned something. And uh, hit that bell button, guys. Hit the like, especially. If you can make this far, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like what you see here, there will be a lot of more electrical I plan on doing. Uh, what I'm going to do next, I believe, with the GFI, and I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I'm going to add uh, receptacles down the line. Number one being just the GFI, and the other ones being just a regular old you know, receptacle. So anyway, guys, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.